Well, I'm out and about again today. I'm at an ant mill, um, North Wales, um, very close to where I live. It's only uh, an 18 minute, uh, 18 mile drive away. Uh, so, probably about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Uh, the car park is free, apparently. At least that's what I've been informed. So, I've left the car in the car park. I was fortunate to get a parking space. And uh, I'm coming out to look at uh, a waterfall composition I've seen on Damien Waters. Um, YouTube channel, uh, and I really do like his videos, so I thought we'd give it a go today. Uh, the sun is beaming through the trees, through the canopy, giving us uh, some side light at the moment. I'm not sure how that's going to pan out when I get to the waterfall because undoubtedly it'll be quite dark. So we'll have a look at that when we get there. It's a glorious, glorious day, it really is. This is the first bit of sun I've been out in since November. Everything has been raining every weekend, and this is the first weekend I've actually had some sunshine, so I'm really, really pleased. It's a little bit cold. So, I'd, uh, I'd convinced myself I'd missed it somehow. But then I got the distinctive sound of water rushing over the edge, and I knew I wasn't too far away. And, uh, lo and behold, We've uh, found the uh, Nant Mill waterfall and pretty much got it to myself, uh, which is good. So I'm spoiled for uh, locations and compositions. Um, it hasn't got the best to light, there is some sunlight there it comes through the trees. Uh, and I think if I can wait long enough. I might get some sunlight on these rocks which is really what I want, a bit of light. Otherwise it'll be quite subdued and a bit flat. But we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna take some shots while we're here. There's nothing else that's a reference for another visit so I'm uh, quite excited to take a few shots here. Um, I'm not gonna be able to get out there on the rocks because having no wellies. Next time I'll be in wellies. Um, although I will potentially take a shot from lower down. Right now I'm going to switch this off and uh, get the tripod out and a little bit of setting up. Alright, so I don't know if uh, the, uh, the voice is coming over on this. Just turn you away from the sun. There's, the, there's a waterfall in the background. And uh, I've taken a few shots. I've got an awful lot of reflection from the sun, so I've used a polarizer. Uh, to try and take that out as much as possible. Uh, I've done some bracketing on a few of the shots and of course you've got to do <laughs> the lovely long exposures with a 10 stop so so hopefully I'll get something out of this when I uh, get it home on the computer and have a look in light rooms. Um, I've been careful with the histogram not to blow the highlights out too much um, but at the same time not um, having too much in the darks where I, I lose, lose the definition. So hopefully if I'm doing this right, <laughs> I'm hoping so, uh, we'll have some pictures that uh, are worthy of putting up on the uh, on the channel. Right now I'm just watching what the sun's doing and uh, looking for more compositions where I don't need to get my feet wet. But all in all, what a cracking place this is and it's not just a waterfall. There's some tremendous trees and uh, lots of paths, footpaths, uh, very well maintained and, and uh, an easy walk to be honest. Um, which is good for me because I don't like all this climbing the larky. Um, I'm a bit old for it, so I always look for the easy way down. Right now I think we've had the best of it here today, but this is definitely one that's going into the TPE app and uh, the location is clearly marked for a revisit, which um, I'll, I'll do again, um, maybe another Saturday or another Sunday in the, in the near future. Right now though, a little climb up this little steep hill and then back onto the uh, well-trodden path to the car and uh, I'll see if I've got time to go elsewhere and I'll see you in a little while. Cheers. I was just going to leave. I never came across this. I wanted to photograph. 
snowdrops for a long, long time. And we've just come across a fair few of them with a nice bit of uh, sunlight. So I'm just going to drop down and just see if I can uh, snap shots of some uh, snowdrops. Talking about landing on my backside. Fortunately, there was a tree there. So here's what I've come across. Nice little clump of uh, snowdrops. I think the frost got them last night because I think they've had their best. But uh, yeah, it doesn't hurt just to take a shot of that. So uh, I'll get down low and uh, see if I can get a composition while the sunlight's still uh, still shining on them. Well, I think that will do me. Along the back. And uh, a little bit of drive around where, where I am. I've got a couple of locations in mind. More of a scouting exercise than anything. Uh, chasing the sunset. I don't think I've left myself enough time to get to where I wanted to go to. Which at this moment in time I can't pronounce, so I'm not even going to give that a go. Uh, but yeah, that was another location uh, that was brought to my attention by watching Damien Waters' YouTube channel. Uh, it is on the Wirral, as I do, and uh, might bump into him one of these days, you never know. Right, there we have it. So that was uh, Nant Mill and Plas Power Woods it's called, if I'm uh, getting the Plas Power bit right, I'm sure I am, but uh, cracking place. Limited parking I would say, probably parking for about 25 cars maybe, so if you are coming, uh, I wouldn't come in the summer, because I reckon this place will be absolutely manic, um, but certainly awesome winter, fantastic place, absolutely fantastic, and I've only touched the outskirts of it, I really have. And there was lots of opportunities um, when the lights right for uh, more, more, more and more compositions. There was, uh, there was a couple of little uh, stone bridges which will make for a, for a nice picture. And uh, yeah, in the spring you'll be getting all the all the flowers up, so that'll look nice. And of course you've got a lot of moss on the trees, which always makes for a nice picture. And then of course all the the trees with the uh, deformed branches and that. I love all that kind of stuff. I really do. And now I'm just going to have this cup of coffee because I needed it and then I'm just going to have a mooch up uh, another location I've got uh, wired into me sat nav to see uh, see what's up there so uh, I'll uh, I'll speak to you in a little while until then I'll see you later Dad out. well I'm at a new location Mall for Moy, for Moy I believe just spoken to a, a local resident who informs me it's Mol for Moy for Moy. Uh, I'm absolutely killing that pronunciation, but hey ho, cracking, uh, cracking spot, and uh, not far from Ruffin. Um, I got here too late. The, the plan was to to go to the top to the summit. That was the plan, um, but like all best laid plans, uh, I failed that one. I got here too late to be honest. Um, and I'm a little bit unsure. The car park seems to say that it shuts at six o'clock. I'm pretty sure uh, no one's going to come round and close all these gates. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, so I don't want to take the chance. So what I might do is I'm going to take a sunset in a little while. I'm just—it's uh, absolutely perishingly cold outside. I mean, really seriously cold. And. Uh, that really is bitterly cold out there. So I've got the uh, tripod set up, the camera set up, and uh, dialed in my setting that I think I'm going to be using, or very close to what I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to take a couple of shots because I'm here, and uh, I've just been scouting around the area, uh, just 
just looking for the route up and I've, I've identified where that is so if I do come back in the morning and um, crack a sparrows at a uh, steady walk up to the top and uh, I think the weather is going to be very much similar to what we have today which is cold clear but sunny um, so we're going to give that a little, little bit of a go maybe in the morning and uh, I'll see if I get some of the pictures there what I would do of course but uh, Right now, I'm uh, just sat watching the sun, giving myself uh, plenty of time to get out and get it set up. Um, but at the ta same time, not missing what might be quite a beautiful sunset as it uh, dips behind the horizon um, over the uh, the valleys and the hills here in Flint, Flintshire in North Wales. Um, looking at these, <laughs> looking at these footpaths, they bloody steep. Hope I can do it with my little legs, but uh, I'll find that out tomorrow. Um, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So, yep, so I'm going to sign out. I'm not going to take the camera out there. It's absolutely perishingly cold. And um, you'll see the pictures uh, here um, if they come out and I'm happy with them. And uh, if not, then you won't see the pictures. But, uh, for now, I'm going to sign off. And uh, oh, there's a lot coming from a big gust of smoke. I hope it's not from my exhaust. Anyway, I've got my heater on because it's bloody freezing, so I've got the heated seats on and the heater on. And I'm just watching the sun is about two fingers from the horizon as, uh, as I look at it right now. So, uh, not long to wait until I go out there. And uh, I'll see you later on or on the next one. Ta da! Until next time, take care and uh, I'll see you soon. Ta-da!